Hello everybody, Joe Thomas here, just finished up at Goodison Park, still really trying to process the, the implications of that defeat to Southampton. Look, I know it's frustrating, I know it's disappointing, I do think there are some mitigating circumstances, please bear with me to the end if, you, if you're groaning when you hear me say that. Look, Deitch says he had to patch his side up at short notice, injuries and illness, injury to Tarkovsky, personal circumstances ruled out Idrissa Gay, uh, and then illness, he says this morning, um, for Vitaly Mikolenko, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, James Garner forced him to change his plans at short notice. Mikolenko of course came off ill and well against Villa so there may have been some lingering issues in relation to that but obviously you know these were far from perfect preparations for, for Deitch yet despite that Everton should really have won this game um, yeah they did struggle to, to impose themselves on it but they created the better opportunities and they created a lot of them um, you know Decore got the goal kind of with the game at stalemate 20 minutes in but after then you know Lindstrom had a glorious opportunity one-on-one -on -one. Uh, Beto was one-on-one -on -one, really but then got muscled off the ball by Taylor Howard Bell should have done better that tackle with essentially being the catalyst for the equaliser with the counter-attack leading the corner Howard Bell has then scored from but even then after the break Southampton started better and I think they probably did play better in the second half but Lindstrom had the golden opportunity Beto winning the flick on uh, and again he, he shot straight at McCarthy went through on goal so look you know I do think there are mitigating circumstances but context is important and on the flip side that this game doesn't sit in isolation and are a side that have lost four games in the Premier League out of four this season so far the cup okay it might not be the biggest priority but it is the opportunity to provide a source of hope uh, this this round this game this win at Aston Villa this time last year was a turning point in the start of the season after a difficult campaign uh, start to the campaign it could so easily have been uh, again today but it's another missed opportunity it's the same patterns I think that we're seeing that um, are causing the problems really you know defensive frailties particularly from set pieces missing the opportunities that they are creating uh, and being unable to hold on to a lead third game in a row they've taken the lead and failed to win and that therefore is, is a bit of a problem I think that's the issue look I think Jared Bradford coming back when he does will have a big impact on this side but I actually think the problems are probably a little bit deeper than that and maybe they just need to kind of we can't sit there and just think Bradford's return will make everything better a bit of soul searching needs to go on because less is a massive game